I'd like to explain the speed torque curve for an AC induction motor. You can see at the bottom it says this is for a design B. There are other designs, but this is probably the most common design, design B torque curve. And if we look at the two axes, on the x-axis is speed or percentage of full load speed and percentage of torque developed on the y-axis. So let's look at when a motor starts, it has a breakaway torque. That is actually one of the highest points of torque at 250% of the full load speed where it's going to run. Then as the motor starts up, it dips down a bit. The torque developed as it's speeding up, so it's coming up to speed, and it actually dips down. Then there's a place, this is again the highest point of breakdown or peak torque that can be developed by the motor. So the inertia of the load, the motor, friction, everything has to be overcome. If the load has a higher torque requirement than that, the motor will not get up to full speed. Shortly after it goes through this breakthrough torque, notice the torque drops way off until it gets to the rated load torque at 100%. So it's been at 250%, as high as 250% of full load torque. So that's my point, that when it's running, the torque is not as high. So four bolt design on each feet is designed to, um, is engineered to overcome or meet the requirements of the breakdown or peak torque and not the running torque. So I would think it would be safe to loosen one bolt. I, in fact, I know it's safe. I've done it many times while it's running because the torque is much lower than during startup. Point proved.